Now, it's a different kind of heat causing problems for Louisiana rice farmers. Experts at the LSU Ag Center say summer heat stunted pollination during the crop's flowering phase, and that knocked yields down by 300 pounds per acre for some farmers. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, relatively low prices aren't helping the situation. The days where you can see the heat coming up from the ground may be over this year, but rice farmers across Louisiana are still feeling singed. The excessive heat really was devastating. LSU Ag Center Rice Extension Specialist Dr. Johnny Sachuk says some farmers saw their yields drop by 300 pounds per acre when compared to last year. We just got too hot and stayed too hot too long. The major consequence was the high heat, particularly at nighttime, and its effects on flowering. So if rice is flowering and the temperatures are very high as they were throughout much of the summer, then it really affects pollination. And when rice flowers are not pollinated, they do not produce grains of rice. So we had poor grain set, we had poor grain fill. That also added to a number of disease problems such as bacterial panicle blight and then some environmental problems that are associated with that. This year's rice harvest was uh, what I'd like to soon forget. Alan Lawson grows rice with his father on 1,000 acres in Acadia Parish. He says at the beginning of harvest, Tropical Depression number five came in and shattered much of his rice, blew down the stand, and made it tough to get out into his fields. It really hurt our harvest efficiency. We went from, uh, you know, 50 acres a day with one machine to probably 15 or 20. That means with high fuel and labor costs, it was one of the more expensive crops the Lawsons have put into the ground. Too bad the current market price for rice is not enough to offset that cost. Right now, farmers are getting a double whammy. Uh, the prices are down considerably compared to last year. Production costs are up, yields are down. So that's all negative for the farmer. Once you've got a crop in the ground that you put in at a good price, then the price goes down and mid-season you're caught. You, you, you have to follow it through to the end, no matter what the cost is. It was still so hot in September when the 111 in particular was flowering, it went through the same problems it had in the first crop. Aside from costing him money, Lawson says this year's harvest is also costing him time, time he needs to prepare his fields for next year's crop. We probably don't have near half of what we'd normally have done at this time of the year. You know, but this dry weather here is a blessing. It, 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 if this carries on, we can, we can still catch up. And hopefully catch up financially next year. Near Crowley, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Dr. Sachuk says despite the cooler weather we've recently had, the state's second rice crop, or Ratoon crop, suffered the same damage. He says that's because temps stayed in the mid to high 90s for much of September.